Hey, what's going on? My Cobbs here, and this is take number two of my handbrake settings for 2021 and moving forward. Uh, yesterday, I actually shot this video on one of my new M1 uh, MacBook Pros that I that I purchased recently, and I found out that the video or the the handbrake settings on that are completely different than everything else. So I got a lot of feedback from people like, "Oh, it's not working. This is not working. It's not working." So I'm redoing this video uh, so that we can accommodate everybody that is trying to use handbrake. So I, hopefully you appreciate this. Uh, I already spent eight hours testing different handbrake settings on that computer. Spent more time on this, but I thought I would redo the video so that it is relevant for 2021 and beyond. So let's get into it. Uh, so the first thing I was, I'm gonna give you the Cliff Notes version of what we're gonna talk about. So you can screenshot this and uh, do this on your own if you'd like, or you can follow along with the video. But we're gonna be using the nightly version. We're gonna be web optimizing it. Uh, we're gonna have the resolution limit at no cropping, the AAC pass-through for the audio, video encoder is the H.264. Uh, and then if you guys have a, a PC, you could actually use the GPU of your PC to make things go faster, which is the H.264 NVIDIA. So I'll show you that here. Uh, constant quality. So I actually got the quality numbers from the source, uh, the actual website right here, recommended quality settings. So for 1080p, they actually recommended right here. So I just went straight to the source instead of going by YouTube and everyone else's recommendations, I just went right to the website documentation and took the recommended quality settings right from the source, okay? Uh, so that's the, the quality settings that we're gonna set. Then the encoder options, I've actually messed around with this many different you know, combinations and I have found fast and fast decode to be the fastest and best quality and lowest file size uh, kind of combination. And then if you guys are using the M1 Max, which is what I did in my previous video, um, they have a video toolbox option that gives you a, a one to a hundred scale on quality, which is the 52 to 57. So I'm not going to cover that in this video, but just know if you use the M1 Max, this is the uh, video encoder you're using. And then this is the constant quality setting for good quality, low file size. And this is actually rendered even lower than these settings right here that I'm going to be going over in this video. It actually was even a lower uh, setting, but apparently that is only for the new M1 MacBook Pro or the M1 Mac series. Okay, so obviously those just came out. So if you guys want to just screenshot this, if you were using that, I love that. It's super fast. It's like less than two minutes encoding on this, and it, and the the file size is low, quality is high. So I that's why I was using my Mac on yesterday's video because it was so amazing. But this is actually pretty good. It's not as good as the M1 Max, but it does get the job done. So we're gonna go over these settings right here. So first things first, let's get right into the first thing. So nightly version. So on Handbrake itself, when you go to handbrake.fr, you can download the newest version here right on the home page. But I actually have found if you click on downloads, there's a nightly build and these builds are kind of beta testing type of builds. And what I've found is they they have updated features. So you have, uh, they're just the most up-to-date versions of Handbrake and they give you a better file size. I was actually testing both of them. They give you better file size, they give you better quality uh, because it's the newest version. They're just not approved yet. So I use the nightly builds. So whatever, you know, platform you're using, you just download the top one. Uh, for Mac, just download that top one and then you should be good to go. Uh, so that's the first step is you wanna get the download, the nightly version. Then when you're inside of Handbrake itself, this is what it will look like right here. Um, so the presets are gonna kinda come default with probably a general fast 1080, P30. So we're just going to leave that. But what you do is you open up the file document that you're looking for, the, the, the file that you are condensing. So open up the file, 
when you first open up Handbrake, it should ask you which file you wanna you wanna convert. So that's the first step you're gonna do. Now I'm just gonna go down the line of each tab and show you the recommended settings that I've that I've come up with. All right, so the first thing is you wanna make sure it's MP4, okay, and web optimized. Okay, this will just make sure that it plays on all devices on the web, all right? And then that's so that's the summary tab. Dimensions tab. This is actually important. Uh, because I've actually uploaded files that had different, you know, not the, the normal, you know, aspect ratio and it cropped it and it made it look horrible. So I actually choose under cropping, I choose custom and I make sure these are all zero. Okay. So that's that. And then resolution limit. If you're shooting in 4k and all that kind of stuff, then, then great. You can set your resolution limit to 4k if you'd like, but I personally, for online marketing videos and things like that, that I do, 1080p is amazing. Cause I mean, someone can watch that on a full screen TV in their front room and it looks amazing at 1080p. So 4K to me is overkill. You're just gonna get a bigger video size. You know, you might as well just keep it to 1080p max, right? So I just choose 1080p resolution limit. And then we'll go to filters. I leave filters alone. So I just leave filters at default. And then uh, I go to audio next. I'll do video tab last. So the audio tab, this one, I actually choose the Kodak AAC pass through. And what this does is it just passes the audio through kind of like the same as source to, to make sure that you just have the highest quality audio possible. So I do AAC pass through on audio. And then this is where the magic happens, the video tab. So here I've experienced, like I said, I experimented with tons of options with the H265. Um, again, the video toolbox, which is the GPU version of your computer. Uh, but again, on, on this Mac, it doesn't have the same options as the M1 Mac. So I don't actually like those options. So I, I've come to the conclusion that because I actually tried, so H.265, just so everyone knows, H.265 gave me the lowest file size, highest quality, but when I uploaded it to Amazon, the video screen was black. It's like, what? <laughs> so so H.265 doesn't play everywhere, all right? So yeah, you'll get a smaller video size, but it, it didn't, it didn't work out in all my tests. So I stick to H264 and then I do con, I do a uh, frame rate as same as source. Okay. Then I do constant frame rate. All right. And then right here, this is where the quality settings that I talked about in the last or the first part. So from the website is their recommendation for H or 1080p was 20 all the way up to 24. And just so you know how the sliding scale works is 20 is higher quality, bigger file size. And 24 is lower quality, lower video file size. But at the end, I'll show you the difference and it really is minuscule in difference. So if you're going for the lowest possible, like if I was doing it to Amazon, for example, I would put 24 and if I was putting it on YouTube, then maybe I would do 20, right? So that's kind of my sliding scale for, so if 20 to 24 is kind of the magic number, 20 for something like YouTube, 24 for something like Amazon, something that you're paying for. If you're paying for the hosting, you want it lower of lower file size, right? Um, and then the last part down here is I've, again, I've tested with different ones. If you do, Super ultra fast, the file's actually bigger. And when you go medium and slower, the file's a little bit smaller, but it takes forever to encode. I've kind of messed around with the sweet spot at just fast. Uh, gives a great uh, speed. And also the quality was the same and the file size was good. All right, I actually tried medium and fast and it was the same file size. So you might as well just save yourself some time, right? So fast is what I came up with. And then the fast decode, I make sure I check that. And then these two, I actually just set those to auto. I don't really know what much of a difference that does, but I am just I just make those auto. I make this fast, fast decode, 24, constant frame rate. 
And then just to kind of recap the, the settings, so web optimized, 1080p, custom cropping, uh, already talked about those, and then audio pass-through. Every, once everything is done, now I click save new preset. Super important. And then just name it something like video default. And then there's only one other thing I do here. So again, resolution limit. I don't ever do anything above 1080p. So it's right there. And then audio. Now I'll record in 4K, like on my camera and stuff. I'll record in 4K, but I, 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 re I reduce it down to 1080p when I'm doing this. And then audio, I will go ahead and do right here, AAC pass-through. Okay. And then I choose the highest sample and the highest bit rate just in case, and then stereo. And then, so just in case you do do a recording that's in stereo, it will, it'll do these numbers. And you want the highest audio that you possibly can in your videos, because that matters actually more than the video quality. So 48 and 30, 320 is what I choose. And then AAC pass through, all right, here on the preset, when we're doing the presets. All right, and then I click OK. And then I click on Add. And boom, now you'll never have to mess with the settings again. As soon as you just upload a, uh, so you can just basically click on this, you choose the file, you click open, and then all of your file settings are done. You've got it on all the different recommended settings. All right, and then the last thing you do is you basically just on click up here, click on start, right? And then that starts the encoding and you'll see this file, it, it says one minute and 33 seconds. So that's amazing. Like if you are on a time crunch, one minute and 33 seconds is amazing. Now I'm gonna stop this because it slows down the computer as we are doing the videos. And I'll show you some final results that we came up with. Uh, so here's my testing on, so I'll pull open this. All right, so here is, so this is the one we just did. So I'll just get rid of that one. All right, so here was the original file size, which is 1.99 gigabytes, okay? Uh, then I put it through handbrake at the 20 setting, which is the higher quality setting. And as you can see, 133. So we already, I mean, we more than 10 x the file size down, right? 10 times less, more than 10 times less, which is amazing. And then right here on 24, as you can see, we're even lower, 61, right? 61 megabytes. And let me show you the difference in what they actually uh, look like. So look at this. So this is the original, right? And this is just the screenshot of the original. This one is the 20. So this is the higher quality setting. And then this one is the 24. They all look amazing to me. <laughs> like, and then this is just a still frame. Now, when I'm actually playing them, I can't even tell a difference. And that's the lowest, the lowest one. Now, the video, my speakers are way over there, so you can't hear it very well. But I'm just saying, this one actually looks amazing to me. Like I would be okay with using the lowest, the 63 uh, one. So, like, let me let me pull those numbers back up. Right here, I'd be okay with the 61 megabyte file. Uh, uploaded to Amazon or wherever you're uploading it. Uh, but again, it, I for YouTube, I do the 20 right here because it's just I just in case, you know, there's people who watch it on a huge screen or something like that. So I do the 20 on YouTube. I do the 24 on things that I pay hosting for. So Amazon, things like that or Wistia. Right. And then uh, and then the original, I never use the original because the original is just ridiculously high um size right two gigabytes for a two minute video <laughs> imagine if this video was like you know 20 minutes or something like that so those are the settings that i did again here's the recapped version of all the settings uh, so there's one last thing i will cover in this video you can play around so the one thing so everything else just make sure everything is the same the one thing you can play around with is this frame or this our reference frame right here number. If let's say 20 just wasn't good enough, like there's other people that I've watched that said 18 is the sweet spot 
for super high quality with you know lower file size. Now you're gonna get anywhere like so the, the 24 was 61 megabytes. I tried an 18 and it was around 222, which is 10 times less, still 10 times less than the original file. So you can get away with 18 if you really want to go and and push the the scales of the the quality that you're going for. So basically just go lower in numbers, higher quality. 18 is 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 really high, but you you kind of sacrifice file size. And then 24 is on the lower end. So but you can play around. You can play around with the scale and if it doesn't if you don't like it, go one by one by one and do your own tests to see what you like. Um so that's my test for you guys. Again, these are, I, I literally sat here for eight hours trying different settings. And, and these are the ones that I have come up with to be the best settings for 2021 and beyond. So if you got value from today's video, be sure to leave a comment below. Or if you have any other questions, leave a comment below. I appreciate everybody who shows up to this channel. Subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of different tech reviews on different tools that we do for internet marketing. Uh, if you are looking for maybe a home-based business that you would like to build like I do, go to seekprosperity.com and you can find out a pretty awesome side hustle that you can do to make extra money online. Uh, so again, drop a comment, subscribe to the video if you got value. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.